YouTube. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let's go. It's water waves time. Let's go. All right. So now we have another one of these, another presentation. You know how it'd be. Again, no less kill line So yeah, today we're going to be talking about how to progress quickly uh, for the game, especially like from day one. Uh, so yeah, kind of like the things they need to do in order to go for the game quickly, you know, if you want. Cool. So the first tip that I have is focusing on the main story. So if you're new to gacha games, uh, what the main story does is this is how you unlock every feature in the game. So like how to unlock, you know, farming materials, farming echoes, farming everything, you know, unlock the map and then you're able to farm even more because, you know, that's how you farm echoes. So yeah, uh, it's just a good idea, you know, unlocking the map, gaining experience from doing the main quests. That's how you gain the most experience at once. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Just focus on the main quest, especially from uh, day one. And then you'll be able to unlock everything, progress everything, you know, unlock end game. And there is the game, basically. So yeah, that'll be the one tip. And then two is from the beginning, especially from day one, just f focus on leveling up two or three characters mainly. Um, so yeah, so for example, because what's going to happen, you're going to be versing like, you know, level 80, 90 bosses. So what you'd like to do is have those characters be on the, the same level as the bosses, because otherwise you're gonna, like, you won't get one shot and stuff like that. So yeah, and this also applies to weapons, you know, just make sure to level up your weapons uh, just to get the base stats from the weapon itself. That should be enough to make you beat the game, basically. So that's about it. And as a quick tip, uh, you know, for those leveling up two or three characters, just use the first five star that you get from the beginner banner. Um, you know, it is up to gacha, but whatever you get, just use them and you should be good. So. Then the third tip, spending your stamina. I know, crazy. But again, if you're not new to gacha, spending stamina, what basically that means is one, you're gonna get resources. So as you can see, we have the first one on top. So this one gives you like character XP, uh, weapon XP, and just money, and even more experience, like leveling up the union rank. Then two, we have uh, like trace materials. I don't know what they're called in modern waves, but from Hawkeye style traces, right? So leveling up your skills, your basic attack, your ultimates, all of that. Uh, so you can spend on that again to become even stronger. And then you have the last thing at the bottom here, which is going to be the weekly boss. So in order to level up your characters to, you know, like high levels, you're going to have to go through some limit breaks every 10 levels. And those limit breaks will require these weekly boss items so yeah do these every week cool so again those will, that's gonna give you union rank xp that's gonna give you resources to level up your characters so you can progress through the game so you never get stack then the fourth thing um use a character that has the most that you have the most copies of um now i don't know every character's like limit break or like copy like what it does so i don't know how good of a tip this actually is but usually unlocking a copy means that you get either more stats new gameplay features or like utility that can make it easier to be the game so yeah use the character that you have the most copies of so yeah hopefully you win in your gacha endeavors for that and also use the weapon with that you have the most copies of because so you can use up to five copies of the same weapon to basically combine them into one weapon and make them like a level five or like a five rated weapon and what that's gonna that's gonna increase what the skill of the weapon does right like what the text under the weapon does so basically if like let's say the text is oh this weapon increases your attack by 10 percent with every copy that you invest into that and that's gonna increase to like 15%, 20%, 25%. So that's what you want. Again, just more stats, right? To be the game easier. And kind of like the last tip that will help you progress the story and the game in general is level up your echoes. So from day one, don't worry about main stats. But okay, you can worry about main stats a little bit, but don't worry about substats. 
just level up your purple gear, purple echoes to you know as high as you want to really uh, because what's it gonna do you're gonna need the main stats in order to beat the game so yeah just don't focus on like having you know the best crit rate best crit damage elemental damage uh anything like that you know just attack you know just just get some stats and you'll beat the game that's all you need so yeah make sure to level up your echoes that's gonna be the biggest boost in stats which is gonna push you over the edge of like beating a couple bosses right cool and then the last tip which isn't really like a tip for progressing the game but just like a tip of like just be careful with these resources so we have the special currency so whenever you pull a four star or five star you're gonna get a special currency and with this you're able to go to this shop somehow i don't know how i'm always on playing the beta and you're able to buy these things that you can see in the list there so the first thing the yellow circle that's the limit limited pool um the second thing that's a um what do you call those like basically you use it to craft like fire, like legendary weapons or good weapons um so don't buy that basically it's useless and then the thing that's under the arrow like the blue you see the little bit of blue um that's the standard pool so basically the tip is don't buy those just keep it for what the arrow is pointing towards this one so the first limited character that we have and what ones will be jinian jian jian um so he will appear in the shop there as you're able to buy his copies basically so if you get 360 of that currency as you can see below him then you can buy a copy so you can get you know his limit break one limit break two i don't know one i don't know two constellation one constellation two whatever you call it i don't know what they're called in this game but yeah so that's it just don't buy anything don't even buy the standard five stars because you're eventually gonna get copies of them just hold it for limited five stars for example like if you decide to put for gn um and to be honest i don't know if you're gonna get enough from like one set of 80 pulls to get a copy from that but what you can do if you're pulling for Jinyan let's say and then you go to Yinlin so by the time you pull Jinyan and Yinlin you're gonna have enough to buy a copy so then you can get you know constellation one Yinlin I don't know one Yinlin limit break one Yinlin whatever you want to call it so that's great easy this game is so good I can't wait it's only a couple of hours until the game comes out Check out the stream i will be playing it in the first second literally i'm on the eu server if you want to friend me cool that's about it goodbye thanks for watching